Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of chapter two. This is problem 2.4.57. You're given some raw data from a sample and you're asked to find some descriptive statistics. I want to show you how to do it using Excel. I have another video that shows how to do this using StatCrunch. First thing you need to do is find the little rectangle there that says click to copy table. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to find open in Excel. So I'm going to click on open in Excel in Excel and then you'll see that depending upon your your browser it will save a copy of that Excel spreadsheet with the data to uh, your local computer okay I've opened that file I downloaded and it'll come up it'll require you to say enable editing which I'll do just click on that and it will enable me to start working on the data. Here's my data in the uh, column A. We're asked to come up with the range, the variance, and the standard deviation. The quickest way to do that in Excel is to use the data, data analysis, bring up this dialog, find descriptive statistics, click OK, and then you need to identify your data, clear out anything that's in there, erase it, I'm going to go over here and highlight my data. If you have data that has a label and you include that label in your range, you know, click that. My output range, I'm going to move this out of the way a bit. I'm going to click in there to delete that. And then I'm going to put this starting here in this uh, cell C1. You want to double check to make sure you have descriptive statistics click so that you can get your descriptive I'm sorry summary statistics pick so you can get your descriptive statistics and click OK and you get a lot of information I'm going to double click on that to expand it so you can see that a little bit better and here we have our, our descriptive statistics mean standard error median mode there's a standard deviation they wanted and the sample variance as well as the range, min, max, sum, and count. So that's a quick way to get your descriptive statistics. I want to look over here for a second, though. And this student uh, tried to come up with the answers using Excel. And let me bring up his spreadsheet for a second. It appears that this student copied the data manually or in, entered it manually into his spreadsheet instead of using the copy table technique, which will is faster and cut down errors. Um, he manually got the sum using the sum function, which is okay. He got the mean using the average function, which is okay. And then he got the range by taking the max and the there, the max function, the min function, and subtracting those two to get the range, which was the correct answer. His first problem, though, came from the variance. And he used the Excel function variance.p. The dot p stands for population. And here we're told that we have a sample. So if you use the dot p function, you will get the wrong answer, which he did. What you need to use when you have a sample, I'm going to start typing here, equal variance. And you'll see we've got an option s dot s estimates based on sample. So I'm going to double click that to enter it and then select my range, hit enter, and we get the correct answer 6.18. So be aware of that. And that is the same, same thing is true for standard deviation. This student used the old uh, function standard uh, STDEV, which is a default for standard of the sample. In the same way, the variance if you start typing in your Excel and you you'll see that there's a standard P for population and a standard S for sample so make sure in the newer versions of Excel that you use the correct function either the sample or the population to get your descriptive statistics but again I would recommend that if you're using Excel on a PC or a recent version of Excel on a Mac use the data analytics tool to get these descriptives much, much faster.